Hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to review uh, the law of sines. So whenever you do the law of sines, you're going to see this proportion here, which is sine of A over A equals sine of B over B, which equals sine of C over C. So all that really says is we need to make sure that the angle matches up with the side opposite. So for instance, when we're looking at number one, do you see how 83 degrees is here and opposite to 83 is 10? So we call this side D. So when you're doing the law of sines, you always wanna have an angle and a side that is given to you. So here we can always write sine of 83 degrees divided by 10 equals, and you only use two, uh, two ratios. You don't ever use all three. Uh, in the formula, they only tell you that all three are equal just so you know that they're equal, that all three of them are equal to each other. It doesn't normally matter which one you pick. You just have to use the information that is given to you. So here, when I'm looking at this problem, I ask myself, what do I want to solve? Well, I can find F because I know that angle F, I don't need the law of sine. I know how to find F. That's just 180 degrees minus 83 plus 53. And that's going to give me 34 degrees. So I could do that without the law of sines. But what I do not know is I do not know this side, which I am going to call side E because it's opposite to angle E. So here I can write the sine of 53 degrees over E. And that's how you pretty much set up uh, the law of sines. And if you remember from back in the days, we are going to cross multiply because we have an equal sign between two proportions and you get 10 sine of 53 degrees equals E sine of 83 degrees. I hope you notice that I'm being a little lazy here, that I didn't write 10 times sine of 53 degrees equals E times sine of 83 degrees is because it's implied uh, that we are multiplying. So here you wanna get E by itself. So all you do is you divide by sine of 83 degrees. And you get E equals 10 sine of 53 degrees over sine of 83 degrees. And you will get 8.046 meters as your answer. So I can go here and just write that number and you have successfully solved the triangle because when we're solving, we're finding all the missing angles and the missing sides. I'll make a separate video on how to put this in your calculator or phone, uh, but for now, just want you to get comfortable with setting it up. So this is one way to use a law of signs. We used it to find a side. This time we're gonna do another example where we're going to find an angle. So you're gonna see my big eraser and you're gonna see me to swoop this out. All right. And now we are going to go to question two. First thing I ask myself is, do I have a pair? And what I mean by pair is I have 98 degrees and I have 32. Do you see how they're opposite to each other? And this is called side B. So I can always write sine of 98 degrees over 32. Here, I kind of have a choice on what angle I want to solve for because I am provided with both sides. So you can solve for A or you can solve for C. That's really up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to solve for C. So I'm going to write sine of C degrees over 29 because that is opposite and this is side C. So here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cross multiply. 
and you're gonna get 29 sine of 98 degrees equals 32 sine of C degrees. And this is where it's gonna get a little tricky because this time we are looking to solve for an angle. So I know I need to get rid of my number in front, which is 32. And I hope you notice that I'm not simplifying anything. And, and the issue with simplifying in the middle of the problem is uh, rounding issues. If you keep rounding and rounding, your answer is going to be off. So a lot of you get here and you kind of forget like, dang, like how do I get C by itself? Um, this is when you have to remember to do the inverse. So my C degree equals sine inverse of all that. So you just put all that. And if you're using a calculator, it's not as difficult to input, but if you're using a phone, it might be a little bit of a challenge, but you can still, you can still make it work. And when you solve this, you should get 63.822 degrees. And that is going to be angle C right here. And if you want, if you wanted to solve for angle A, I guess you technically could use the law of sines again, but we don't wanna do that. All we wanna do is we wanna do 180 degrees minus 98 plus 63.822 degrees and solve for that. And you get 18.178 degrees is A. So you wanna make your life easy, right? I mean, you don't wanna just do the law of sines just to do it, unless you enjoy it. And that is my two answers. So these are the two variations that you'll see when you do the law of signs. Thank you.